Norman Fell was an actor known for his role as Mr. Roper on the sitcom Three's Company. He had a knack for playing characters that audiences loved to watch. Now, we're curious about your connection to Norman Fell. What's a fact about him that has caught your interest? Maybe you have a story about how his performances touched your life or a memory that brings a smile to your face when you think of him. We're eager to hear what you have to say, so please share your stories and memories in the comments. Stay tuned, as we're going to reveal some funny, shocking, and touching facts about Norman Fell. Your stories are what make remembering him so special. Norman Fell was an actor known for his role as landlord Mr. Roper on the sitcom Three's Company and its spin-off The Ropers. Born in 1924, Fell built a career that spanned over four decades in Hollywood. He started on stage and eventually moved to television and film, where he became familiar to audiences for his reliable performances in supporting roles. His portrayal of Mr. Roper, characterized by his deadpan humor and distinctive laugh, left a lasting impression on viewers. Fell's work in television and film made him a recognizable face and a respected figure in the entertainment industry. His ability to bring characters to life with authenticity made him significant in his time, and his performances continued to be appreciated by fans of classic television comedies. Norman Fell made a lasting impression on audiences with his portrayal of two memorable characters who shared a similar disposition. As Stanley Roper in Three's Company, he brought to life a landlord whose gruff exterior often led to comedic situations. This role echoed his earlier performance in The Graduate, where he played Mr. McAleary, the landlord who frequently threatened to evict Dustin Hoffman's character. His ability to embody such distinctive roles showcased his skill as an actor. In Inherit the Wind, Fell took on a different challenge as a radio technician, contributing to a film that became known for its cast, many of whom went on to become familiar faces on television. This ensemble included actors like Dick York and Harry Morgan, who, along with Fell, would become part of America's popular culture landscape. Returning to the theme of law and order, Fell appeared in Bullet, set in the Bay Area, as a tough police detective. This role contrasted with his previous characters, demonstrating his range and the depth he could bring to various parts in film and television. Norman Fell's work remains a testament to his talent and the enduring appeal of the characters he portrayed. Norman Fell's portrayal of Stanley Roper on Three's Company was a defining role in his career. When he and Audra Lindley ventured into their own show, The Ropers, they did so with the assurance that they could return to the original series if the spin-off was short-lived. Despite this, their return was not to be, as their replacements, including Don Knotts, had become established by the time The Ropers ended. The episode Night of The Ropers remains a unique moment in television history, marking the only instance where Fell, Lindley, and Knotts shared the screen. Fell's earlier work in Pork Chop Hill showcased his acting alongside future stars, marking the film as a starting point for many notable careers, including his own. His role as Sergeant Coleman stands out in a cast that included several actors who would later rise to fame. Norman Fell made a memorable appearance as Captain Baker in the classic film Bullet, sharing a birthday with co-stars Steve McQueen and Pat Ranella. After graduating from Temple University in 1946, Fell continued to build his acting career, which led him to the role of Bill in Airport 1975. His journey in the entertainment industry saw him cross paths with Jerry Stiller and Conrad Janney's at a bar, a meeting of future television stars. Stiller would go on to fame in Seinfeld and The King of Queens, while Janney's became known for Mork and Mindy, and Fell himself became widely recognized for his role in Three's Company. Norman Fell brought humor to the screen as Stanley Roper in Three's Company, often breaking the fourth wall with a direct laugh into the camera after delivering a sharp line to Audra Lindley's character. His first marriage was to a woman he met during his college years. In the show, his character decided to sell the apartment building, leading to a move that Mistress Roper was unsure about. Behind the scenes, this mirrored real life where Audra Lindley was eager for a new opportunity in a spin-off while Norman Fell was hesitant to leave the main show, taking a considerable time to be persuaded. Norman Fell made his mark as Stanley Roper on Three's Company, sharing the screen with Audra Lindley, who played his wife. Their dynamic was part of the show's charm. After Lindley's passing, Fell continued to bring Stanley Roper to life, both on the original show and the spin-off The Ropers. His role extended beyond sitcoms, as seen in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, where he played a detective. 
This film uniquely brought together Fell and Don Knotts, who would later step into the role of landlord after Fell on Three's Company. The connections between these actors extended off screen as well, with their lives intersecting through their work and their passings. Norman Fell's legacy in television is remembered for his straightforward portrayal of characters that resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the landscape of American sitcoms. Norman Fell honed his acting skills under the guidance of Stella Adler, a prominent teacher in the field. His personal life was marked by the adoption of his son Casey with his wife Karen. Tragically, Casey was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of five months. Professionally, Fell is best known for his role as Stanley Roper on the television series Three's Company. His departure from the show occurred in 1979, after which he made a memorable return in the episode Night of the Ropers. Although he and actress Priscilla Barnes both featured in the series Murder, she wrote, they never shared screen time. Barnes, who joined Three's Company after Fell's exit, confirmed they never met, even during the show's 40th anniversary celebration. Norman Fell's portrayal of Stanley Roper in Three's Company left a lasting impression. After the cancellation of their spin-off The Ropers, Fell and co-star Audra Lindley made a final appearance on Three's Company, marking the departure of Suzanne Summers from the show. The spin-off itself was a hesitant move for Fell, who doubted a show centered around The Ropers dynamic could succeed. Despite assurances of depth beyond the running gag of Mistress Roper's dissatisfaction, the show lasted only a season and a half. Their return to Three's Company was not to be, as their contract exceeded a year, leaving them without roles. Nevertheless, they returned for a guest appearance, closing the chapter on their characters. Fell's creative contribution to the show included Breaking the Fourth Wall, a move that paralleled his British counterparts in Man About the House and George and Mildred, adding a unique touch to his character's humor. In Airport 1975, Norman Fell plays Bill, joining Myrna Loy in a scene that mirrors her role as Nora in The Thin Man. Despite her elegant appearance, she casually joins a drinking session with Jerry Stiller's character and others, including Phil. This interaction subtly nods to her ability to match her on-screen husband's drinking in the classic films. Additionally, a memorable line from the movie has Stiller's character advising Phil's character to stick with Blue Nun Wine, a humorous reference to Stiller's real-life commercials for the brand. Off-screen, Phil was rumored to have a long-standing feud with fellow actor Jack Klugman. This supposed animosity was believed to be intense and lasted decades, but it turned out to be a fabricated story. In reality, Fell and Klugman were good friends from their early days in Philadelphia, debunking the myth of their rivalry.